Good early morning. Early morning, cause it's travel day. From Miami <laughs> International Airport, we are boarding our flight in just about an hour or so. And where are we going to? We are flying non-stop direct to St. Lucia, a land of mystery, of enchantment, and wonder. <laughs> Why are we going to St. Lucia? Because we are heading back to the beach mm -hmm. once again, back to the beach, part two. You saw us last time at Beaches, Turks and Caicos, Sandals Family Resort, one of their family resorts. Mm -hmm. Now we're heading just to Sandals, adults only. There are three of those locations in St. Lucia, and we are heading to Regency Latak, or should I say, back to Regency Latak. Yes, we've been there one time, very, very briefly, on a day pass where we ran around and did a really, really, really quick tour. Um, but now we're actually staying so we get to experience it and know more about it and show you guys more. So we're really excited. Oh yeah. Once we get there, we do have to, of course, do customs and COVID check and all that stuff. And then we do have about an hour shuttle ride yeah. from the airport to the resort. So just for future reference, the three resorts in St. Lucia are not very far from each other. And there is an, a smaller airport right near those. And that's not the airport that you typically use. The uh, international airport is further at the southern tip of the island. So we will have a nice hour long drive or so before we get to the resort. But the good thing is, is that Sandals does include the free shuttle. So they'll be picking us up complimentary and taking us to the resort. We are staying at Regency of the Talk for four nights. Mm -hmm. So we do have a travel agent events. Hope you'll come along and join us. This is just the beginning. There's nobody here. It's like we have a private jet. Yeah, yeah this is going to be the most empty flight we've ever been on in far. Yeah. And yeah. beautiful view. Uh, customs and the health check and now we are in the lounge this is a sandals lounge so they have chairs and tables so here bring your bags down they have a refreshment station they get you some drinks looks like they have some soda water coffee chips there's restrooms in the back as well and they have televisions watch sports or the news here are you ready more than ready
arrived to our room. We have a really, 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 really nice room. Yeah, we did. Because we did, because um, as we mentioned, we're here on like a travel agent trip. We never know what room we're getting when we go on these things. No. So it's like a surprise when we get here. We got a really nice one. Yeah. Like a really, really nice one. So we'll have the full room tour video coming up, of course. But just to give you an idea, there's the entry. You see the, the bar there. And this is stocked. I mean, alcohol and everything, which we don't drink. But right. juices, sodas, all that stuff. There's a TV here. Yeah. Check that out. Like, it comes with so much stuff. Ready to go. Because yeah. this this is a butler suite room. Yes. So that's why there's this alcohol on tap here. And as Matt said, it's lost on us, but it, it's cool that it's here. I believe we, we are foregoing butler service for this trip, even though this is a butler room. But we do have club level privileges. Right. And that's just because, we're like we said, we're on a travel agent thing. Um, but normally, if you had this room, you would have butler service. <gasps> but come look, it gets better. Yeah, wait, first, nice, big sectional, big table there. Put some fruit out for us. There's a balcony, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> this is the bedroom. Look at that. Nice king size, look at those giant windows. Looking out the gorgeous ocean out there. And we have a nice big flat screen in here as well. And... <gasps> What's behind the wall? Wow. Whoa, it's so cool. It's like nice artwork here as well. Look at a little window through here because this is the giant walk-in shower. Hi. <laughs> and toilet. Look how big it is. It's huge. It's so fancy. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Ah, they brought our luggage. <gasps> da 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 da. Look at that thing, the giant punch bowl. First of all, <laughs> double glass sliding doors here out to the balcony with this massive round tub with little shelf. Table and chairs, drying rack, but look at the view. We have flowers, we have trees, we have the ocean, of course. That's the main thing we're here to see. You can see it over, splashing up on the rocks on the cliff over there. That's cool. And you can even look out and see the pool for the Sunset Bluff area, because that's where we're at, up at the Sunset Bluff, away from the main area of the resort. We're up on the cliff here, and we will have sunset right over there. This is insane! It's so nice! This is crazy nice! What a pleasant surprise. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! So, catching up on what has happened, transpired over the last few hours, of course, we boarded our plane in Miami. We had less paperwork to do on the plane this time. All we had to fill out was a customs form and then like a health questionnaire kind of thing. Got off the plane. They took us into like this, I don't know, it kind of looked like a bunker. It did. But they had like the health screening stuff there. Sanitized. Temperature. Uh, mm-hmm. Not even touch, like the, where you stand at a distance and it picks you up. You know, checked our COVID test, checked the questionnaire kind of thing. And then they sent us to customs where they checked our passports and we gave them that form. Right when you do customs, that's also right where you pick up your bags from the carousel. If you had checked luggage, once you proceed past that point and they tell you you're good to go, the little kiosk there, you will see on the wall that it says sandals, but then it's doors. You can't see through them or anything. You have no idea where it goes. Now, out in front of that door are the sky caps, and they are like built a wall around it. We could not get through to that point without going through them. They came up and grabbed our, but didn't ask if we wanted help, just grabbed our bags and said, where are you, where are you going? Sandals, which resort? Regency at the top. Okay, let's go. And they took us out the door, down a hallway that was like 15 yards. <laughs> it's not very yeah, long was, at all. It was very, very short. And yeah. it, it takes you directly into the sandals lounge. Mm -hmm. So then they took the bags and put them by the door where the van comes. Now the sandals then representatives, the actual sandals workers came and said, welcome to the lounge. We have snacks, we have drinks, mm -hmm. we have restrooms, blah, 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 all that stuff. The sky captain comes up and says, and so what about the tip? Yeah. And I said, what? The tip? Yeah, tip. Um, okay. You know, I, I used to be a, a Bell Services worker at Walt Disney World, so I'm very familiar with, with luggage and, and mm -hmm. tipping, and I understand we're in a, a different country, and this is their culture. This is their uh, establishment, so we're following by their rules. But that is 
pretty forward. So all of that to say, it's fine. That's just how they do mm -hmm. it. Just be mindful. I don't believe you have to use the sky cap. I think you could probably just say, we're going to Sandals, we're good, thank you very much, and just head through the door. But after that, we, we only waited for our shuttle like I don't know, like seven minutes. It was really quick. And then we were on the shuttle and we were off. I will say it's a very, it's a nice drive in that there's a lot to look at. It is a very long drive though. And it's also a very like up and down drive and a very windy drive. <laughs> um, so much so our driver asked us before we left if anybody has a tendency of getting motion sickness. Even if you think you're not one to get prone to motion sickness, be prepared. So after the drive, we got here. They did a, a temperature scan. Then for us, because we have club services, they escorted us to the club lounge, which we'll try to go to a little bit later so you can see what that's about. And they escorted us to the room and because we're on Sunset Bluff, they shuttled us up to our room and then they escorted us to our room and showed us our room and and everything like that. But what we're going to be doing now is going to get food because we are quite, quite, quite hungry. Yes, I feel like every time we talk to you guys, we're, we're talking about how hungry we are. Well, that's how it goes when you're traveling. <laughs> you're, you're, go, busy. go, go. You don't have time to eat. Now, 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 we're going to go eat. Bye. All right. I think we're going to try to head to Neptune's. It is the location that's currently open for food and we are hungry. I think they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we're going for lunch, and we are hungry. Now, we could have taken a shuttle to get down here, but we didn't. We're just walking. Yeah, we've been sitting all day. Now, we mentioned when we did our uh, resort tour at this location, when we came on the day pass a year ago, that this was not very accessible friendly because there's a lot of up and down. The resort is very spread out. Ah, oh, kimono sensoi. Yeah. I don't know when. We're Some gonna, point. We're gonna make our reservations here. So yeah. But we're gonna be seeing you. That's gonna happen for sure. <laughs> it's the first cat of the trip. Oh. We have the right idea. A little lounge cat right here by the, the lounge bed overlooking the uh, ocean there. That's what I would do if I was you. Just perched up on the step. And disappearing into the foliage is another cat. Can't really see it now. Bigger one. This is like a wildlife program. Yeah creeping into the bushes, <laughs> the vines of sandals, we find a feline. Lunch with a view. Bella Napoli Pizzeria was also open right next door, but we're gonna hold off on that because we'll definitely get that at some point. Well, they have a burger here and I think I definitely want a burger. There's the bar for them too. So you see the pizzeria right next door over there. Check it out, we're under this big pavilion. Nice woodwork, ceiling fan. Out here in the open air. And as I already mentioned, food with view. Food's up. Yay, I'm so hungry. You already basically said what you got, but what'd you get? <laughs> I got a burger with fries. Yeah, looks good. Good size. And this is the uh, fish sandwich. Took all the veg off and the no tartar sauce on the side. So there was like a lemon pesto aioli. But I, I don't get really the see. Yeah, you get the pickles. But um, yeah, looks good. Do you remember this from when we went to Royal Plantation? I do. It's the Don Dish Show Cups. <laughs> but don't worry, there's not really soap in here. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yes, I did. Actually, it was very good. Mine was too. Um, and mine, you know, because I mentioned it had like a uh, lemon pesto aioli. Mm -hmm. It was kind of just seasoned in the fish. Ah. Don't call it an aioli, but I got the taste of it. And this hot sauce, actually, Ooh. they have here. That will light you up. Yeah, it's it's spicy, but it it's a good flavor to it though. Now we have a tradition here <laughs> called last dab. <laughs> You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But you kind of have to do it, otherwise you're a weenie. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, it's Hot Ones, which was uh, like on YouTube. It's a series where they have celebrities come in and eat hot wings and answer questions. It's actually really good. Back in the room after our delicious lunch. Gotta give you another look at the view. And the tub. 
Tub, 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 tub. <laughs> That's awesome. That is quite large. There's a little seat in here, too. Yeah, it's deceiving because it looks like just the shadow line of the sun, but it's not. There's a seat. Oh, phone's ringing. Look. Little birdie. Little birdie. And he's got some color. Don't fly in our room, though. He You're might not go so out. He just landed here on the table. Hello. Oh, we don't have any scraps. I think he's really trying to figure out how to get in here. Okay, okay. thanks for stopping by. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Or she. Yeah. Let's name it. Mm -hmm. Tweety. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the color on the camera here, and especially with the door closed, but it's basically black and then it has like an orange chest or a throat actually. Whoa, it puffed up. Did you see that? Was that supposed to intimidate us? Because it worked. It's saying open the door so I can come in. Okay, if you do that again, I probably oh. will. Okay, bye. bye. Look, we can see from our balcony the sandals cat. That's number three that we've seen so far in the trip. down here at the uh, main lobby area. Lobby just through there. The Toc restaurant, the French place right up there. This is, I guess, what you could call the main pool area. Yeah. Of course, back out to the ocean, the beach, and the waterfall behind us here. Goes around as a loopy doop So that's pretty cool. So we're, you know, you can see those buildings up there, the blue ones, that's the road. You just keep going on up to the bluff over there. That's, that's where we're at. But right now down here, because dinner reservation. Yay! We, they did make us a reservation at um, at La Talk, which is the fancy restaurant that you have to dress up for. Um, but after traveling and all that stuff, we don't feel like dressing up tonight. But we made a reservation at Armando's, which is the Italian restaurant. So we're gonna go there tonight, and that's just casual. Yeah. You can wear like shorts and t-shirt and stuff like that. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on the dot. As the sun plummets behind Sunset Bluff, night begins to fall, and night aesthetic, trademark off when happy troubles, begins to take hold here at Regent Seal Talk. You see these tiki torches down here on the beach? Looks like some candlelight dining set up. Someone's gonna have a nice meal down there. They have a fire pit going right here. That's cool, got some nice lights uplit on the tree there. Of course, the pool, and the waterfall, the LED lights in the different colors. Got sandals and blazing on top of the building there. And they're setting up for some kind of fun little event over there. That's normally the seating for like the buffet. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if they just do like mood lighting at night or I don't know what the situation is. I don't know. Is. No, it seems like they're setting up for something. I don't know. Also, it's a turtle. Fire pit, fire pit. Chelsea says she wishes she had some marshmallows. <laughs> and some chocolate and some green crapper. I mean, <laughs> Chris What's cracker. wrong with you? <laughs> Chris cracker, that's what I meant to say. Time for dinner at our Mondo's, not far from our room. See the tower? What I always tell you. So not far, it's just in the pool here at Sunset Bluff. So our Mondos is right here. I don't know if we're going to be inside or outside. Play outside. It's a lovely, lovely evening. It looks like we're probably going to dine outside, but I did want to show the inside really quick. Wow, this is cool, huh? Nice, big, tall ceiling wood, chandelier and the columns. It smells exceptional in here. I think we're going to be outside. Okay. All right, we're now seated, but let me go ahead and show you the menu. We'll take that away, then we'll show you the view. But then you get to miss out on the crazy ride going up. It was a little bit of a crazy ride. It's, that was it's the main course and dessert. Here's the appetizer. And they have their own. 
like Starting on the wrong thing, side there. But there's no like cows or monkeys in the middle of the road, so that's Sorry, a bonus. Right? You get cows. Oh. Really? Yeah. This is what that's we see if we look point. up. Remember me talking about the tower just a minute ago? We're directly under it. And that means if we're directly under the tower, that we're directly above the pool. What a view, huh? We get to look out over the rest of the resort. See the Sandals logo lit up on top of that building over there? And the hillside. That's not the resort, that's just the hills. But we get the lights and the ocean, but it's dark. So we can't really see anything there. But this, being up above the pool area, that is pretty cool. There's so many cats here, I love it. I think we've seen more cats at this resort than any other one we've seen. I think so. Are you Armando? Enough nonsense. The food has started. Brought us some bread and with the bread some different butters. What were they? Um, this one's regular. This one, the reddish one is sun-dried tomato. <laughs> and then I don't remember what this was. It was a basil, wasn't it? Oh, basil, basil. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Yes. Let's have some. Oh, there goes the light. <laughs> Let's have some. <laughs> it's time for appetizers, and we both got the same thing. Caesar salad. For the big Christine. And it's main course time. Squidward. Tortellini? No, it's cannelloni. <laughs> cannelloni? It's an interesting presentation. Yeah, I, I know it has spinach and... Ricotta. Yeah. Looks good. Should Pasta good. tubes. I went with like the house specialty, which was the chicken parm. And it looks delicious. And I mean, it smells delicious. So one thing left to do. Jump in the pool. And there's where we ate. Up in the tower. What did I say? Above the swivel bar. That's where we were. There's the tower. And we've come across by the pool, descended the steps past the first fire pit, and on this second level landing here, with this fire pit. Still not sure what's going on over here back at the main area. Still setting stuff up. They're wearing cowboy hats? Does that have anything to do with it? It's a hoedown. This is a hoot nanny. No, it's a hoedown. <laughs> We mentioned earlier that we're staying club level and that we came and made our dining reservation for tonight. This is the Club Sandals Lounge. So we have a mini fridge here with some cold drinks. I have the bar set up. They did have cookies here earlier, but they took those away. And there's TV, coffee machine, makes different kind of coffee based drinks. And then the two desks where they'll help you out with anything you need, get your reservation, all that jazz. And then lots of lounge space, some chairs, tables, couch. But we do have access to the lounge, I believe they said 24 seven, correct? With our room key? Yeah, you just scan your room key. And so even if they're not in here, you can still come in. Come and lounge, grab a drink. Here's what's in the fridge, if you still want it. Basically what was in our room fridge. Ooh, one thing I did want to point out that we've been getting asked about a lot recently, which makes total sense with our beaches videos, our Royal Plantation videos from Jamaica, is masks, because you just saw us wearing mm. them inside. So just to clarify for that, for Sandals and Beaches properties right now, if you are outside, you don't need to be wearing a mask. If you're in your room, you don't need to be wearing a mask. If you are inside a restaurant or bar actively eating or drinking, you don't need to be wearing a mask. Right. It's only when you go inside a place like the club here or the gift shop and you're not eating or drinking, which is very rare. We've had someone else ask if, you know, if they've noticed in our videos and other people's that the staff at Sandals seems to be good about wearing masks and staying distant, but how are the other guests? Perfectly fine. We've, we've had zero issues at Royal Plantation, at Beaches, Turks and Caicos, here so far at Regency La Talk. Um, to be honest, most of these resorts, they're not very crowded right now because they just haven't, they just reopened, they haven't gotten back up to their 
top level occupancy but no people stay distant they're doing their thing there's plenty of room to spread out so you can definitely come to any of these locations have a great time you don't have to worry about it and we finally have our answer as to what's going on in here it is country night So you ordered from room service. Didn't know what we'd like, so we're trying all three. <laughs> so this is a chocolate cake. Contestant number one. Uh, let's see. Oh, the plates are chilled. This is a uh, fruit tart. Fruit tart. This is a mango shortbread. Cake thing. Shortcake. Shortcake. Mango shortcake. What? Um. Oh, like strawberry shortcake. Okay, yeah. now I now I understand what shortcake is. And we are just about ready to conclude day number one here at Sandals Regency Latak in Saint Lucia, but we never told you what we thought of dinner. Dinner was good. Um, your chicken parm was really good. Very good. There's a reason that's the house specialty. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. It was good. Mine was mine was fine. Um, it was like a little heavy. Yeah. Um, it had like some red sauce underneath, which I would have liked some more, more of. I think that would have like cut the heaviness a it little bit. It needed that tang. Yeah. But but it was but it was good. Like it was fine. But I would probably order what Matt got instead. Like I would get the chicken parm because that was really. We hope you enjoyed today, day number one, here at Sandals Regency Latak. And as always, if you're interested to come in Sandals or beaches anywhere around the Caribbean, I'm trying to hurry because the battery's about to die. Oh no! We can help make that happen for you as travel agents. It's always our pleasure to help our clients and it's a completely free service to you. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information in the description of this video. Once again, we wanna thank you for joining us today here at day number one at Sandals Regency Latak. Sign off, we'll see you tomorrow, day number two. Until then, happy, happy travels! travels!